welcome back to a new video today i have with me the new polestar 2 full electric for those of you that didn't know uh, and i will review it for you i will show you the interior exterior and every single detail about this electric car made by polestar also guys i want to tell you that of course for, for those of you that didn't know i already own a tesla model 3 and this polestar 2 it's kind of the competitor of the tesla model 3 it's in the same class and it has kind of the same attributes and in this video i want to somehow compare it and tell you my impression about how is the, the tesla model 3 difference uh, and how is this one the quality the interior the space and all that kind of information also i will give you the technical details in this video also if you're new on my channel just click the subscribe button if you want to see more new cars that will come on my channel just click the subscribe button also guys uh, we will start with the exterior as always and uh, before we go to the lights I want to show you the key here is the key so you can see it's pretty nice square key and the buttons are here on the side and I want to show you first of all before we go forward I want to show you the lights on the back it has a nice playing lights in the back so for example when you turn on the car you can see you turn it on and you wait a few seconds and you can see it has a nice nice playing uh, light so in terms of lights to be honest i will show you a little bit later i think polestar it's much uh, much much better than uh, tesla model 3 when you lock the car you can see it's kind of uh, close in a nice nice dance of the lights and also look at the tilted mirrors guys you have keyless entrance of course so you just have to have the key in your pocket it's a very light key very very light key and if you have the key in your pocket you can lock the car by putting the finger here or you can unlock the car by having the hand right here also i want to show you something interesting that i didn't see on other cars are the mirrors the way they they tilt in and tilt out so for example check this out I lock the car and you can see how slowly they, they try to close and they didn't close completely they close only until here so it's quite interesting why uh, they chose to close it and to make it just a little bit interesting anyway if we are on the mirrors right now I want to show you something that this mirror you, you will never find on other cars it's something unique it has a very very tiny edges you can see how interesting is that really really interesting I like the way it looks I'm not sure about practicality if it get dirty or you can scratch it and uh, broke it really easily if someone touch it or stuff like that but it still look phenomenal the blind spot technology it's right here in the corner guy so you can see it's a nice line it looks really fancy really expensive and yeah i like it very much also going on this side the color of the mirror it's in the same color as the body but the 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 leg here it's in a glossy black plastic and it looks really really nice i like the aerodynamic shape of the mirror it looks really fancy really premium and good quality also here is the um, the turning signals led of course <laughs> Uh, and i will turn on the lights and we will go a little bit to the lights but before going to the lights i want to tell you that i already have the video with the test drive on my channel if you want to see the test drive with this pulsar 2 just check it out on my channel i already have it there and uh, we make a tour around the car and in the same time i want to tell you guys that this car come with 470 kilometer range it comes with two electric motors one in the front one in the back 408 horsepower 660 newton meters and pretty powerful 4.7 second 0 to 100 yeah and the maximum speed it's limited to 205 kilometer uh, i think it's more than enough for the streets uh, these days so anyway those are the more 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 important technical data uh, then going to the charging port it's right here on the driver's side and we have the uh, ac so you can charge uh, with 11 kilowatt hour at fast charging station and also at home if you have a wall box uh, so you will need maybe eight hours maybe more uh, and if you use ccs this is the the type 2 charging port the the faster one you can charge the car maximum charging speed 
uh, 150 kilowatt hour you can charge the car in 30 minutes around 80 percent so it's insanely fast if the charging port allow you and yeah um, if it's not fast you can charge the car really really fast so you don't have to worry about that so now i think with technical detail we already done let's go to the to the lights guys let's go to the body of the car that's more important uh, there is more important there is the comparison and then we can see also i like very much the way it looks the interior we will go in a second and i will show you there the interior now as i said before look at the led on the mirrors look quite nice good quality we go in the back here also the lights are really interesting and i like really really much this line that go through the all uh, back rear of the car look really interesting LED lights everywhere turning signals LED light look in a big way in my opinion really beautiful really beautiful I like this unique shape going a little bit down some kind of uh, light reflectors here uh, on the downside the number plate here we have a camera down here guys on the number plate and those are LED lights we have two LED small LED lights right now they are close but uh keep in mind that they are down here and you have a reverse camera that it's also down down here close to the number plate now let me go in the front to show you the lights and then we will go back to the bumper and i will explain you more there in the front it looks like a proper volvo car uh, in terms of lights at least uh, you can see that t led light where right now in this moment it's turning signals and in the same place it's also the daylight so yeah if you see the volvos the newest is volvos on the on the street you will see that it's very similar full led light the latest technology uh high beam low beam everything it's led you can see right there pixel technology polestar pixel technology so it's the the latest technology in terms of light um yeah okay good i think i'm almost done with the lights down here also you have the fog lamps that it's led uh, as well and uh, if we go forward let's start with the front part of the car and look at the look at the polestar logo look how nice and fancy and modern it is it's integrated right here in the in the body of the car it looks really really good in my opinion then we have right here another camera the front camera as you see before uh, actually the car have 360 degrees camera and I actually forget to show you the camera down here on the mirror guys so we can see the camera it's down here on this leg it's really interesting the way they position it right there usually all the car manufacturer they position it on the mirror here but they position it of this uh, leg and I think it's a better idea if someone broke your mirror something happened the camera is still there and you don't have to to pay the extra for for replacing it so that's a great idea i like also the grill it's unique and a unique grill with the glossy uh, plastic with matte plastic combination it looks really really interesting the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake it's right here and you have also some kind of air intakes like a normal uh, internal combustion car and then you can see the radiator inside there uh, where the air will go inside and then cool down the battery or different parts right there also you have another air intake down here and a radiator so kind of a lot of air intakes uh, to be honest these air intakes will kind of make the aerodynamic of the car lost some drag so yeah that's the choice that's why maybe tesla uh, model 3 i'm i'm sure that tesla model 3 has a better aerodynamic but it still look really really fancy and nice and i like the bumper i like this glossy plastic insertion here on the down part the car come with six parking sensors in the front of course those one on the side they are used more for blind spot technology and that stuff on the down part you have kind of a matte plastic and quite quite a uh, simple shape so interesting 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 uh the hood look also nice i like the the hood i like the lines the shape of the hood they add some kind of lines here on the side and also on the on the other one so you can see a little bit better the hood look in a big way uh in my opinion also something 
uh, that I want to show you is these cameras here. And you can see they are defrosting the camera right there in the winter time. They will stay always clean there. So that's the camera for reading the traffic speed limit, lane assist, and also all that uh, that safety technology that come with the car. Something that Tesla Model 3 doesn't have and this Polestar 2 have is this protection here that I think it's very important in time because this plastic here protect the paint of the car in time so it will don't get rust so that's that's really good and also here down here you can see this plastic to protect the the paint of the car it's a really really good idea and it it, it fits really well with the car if you look a little bit aside you can see that you don't even notice it if you go a little bit forward in this color you don't it's it's blend very good with the car so i think they did a great great idea uh, even down here the same plastic you can see it goes on the back in the back the same story i will show you later it comes with 20 inch rims they look phenomenal on the car uh, those 20 inch rims really good also those rims look splendid splendid brembo brake calipers you can see polestar yellow uh, ventilated brake discs cross drilled brake discs amazing brake uh, those are kind of extra uh, to take it on the car so yeah depend on which package you go uh, you can get some extra uh, sport performance package and you can get those rims but they, they look really good i mean i really recommend you to go with them in the back as i said guys the same story here the same plastic to protect the edges of the car something that tesla doesn't have and i wish it has because it protect you can you can have the car for many many years it's very important to protect your paint let's go forward here in the back you have only ventilated brake discs pretty big um, and also the yellow caliper uh, you can see it right there but other than that they look really really interesting and also if you look at the car if you look at the lines it's not bad the design it's, it's quite beautiful look at those shapes here those lines on the side look really beautiful look at the glossy plastic around the windows look so nice and the fact that they add it also on the upper side it make it also much much nicer and interesting uh, also we have the handle here that feel very good quality and also the doors quality it's awesome i mean you can hear it it's, it's very good quality also lock and unlock button right here and unlock it like that it's work perfectly but i like very much this glossy plastic around the windows really really nice and talking about gaps i think here it's a little bit of a bigger gap i don't know yeah but other than that I'm, I'm sure if it's on the other side the same story oh yes on the other side is the same yeah maybe it's the way it is but tesla has those gaps i didn't expect i don't expect to find in this car any gaps because i know volvo polestar they make great great quality cars so let me go back on the other side but if you look at other gaps here and up and stuff like that you don't find nothing everything is just it's just perfect aligned so in terms of gaps yeah this car it's 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 really really good um anyway look at the radio antenna how nice it is the glass roof we have a glass roof really beautiful up here also here everything looks so glossy black glossy tinted windows in the back wow it looks really good and i like the slick design the way it comes like down like this and here it's quite straight um, and then you have this lip here kind of a spoiler lip small lip i don't know if you can see there but interesting interesting lines interesting design uh, it make it a little bit more square uh, tesla model 3 it's much better on the aerodynamic than polestar 2 that's it's for sure but still the shape of this polestar it's more practical so i think it allow you to have much more space in the back uh, in the trunk and in the interior of the car we'll go there i'm really curious and i will tell you about the space uh, now here you can see on the bumper six parking sensors in the back as well those are used for the um, blind spot te uh, technology and those are for the parking uh, also we have some chrome design they even add some chrome down here really interesting i think this is the first element of chrome uh, added on this car and if we go forward you can see on the down part very good choice in my opinion they add this matte 
black plastic that even if you scratch it it's not such a big deal so i think from this point of view they, they really did a good choice of course no exhaust pipes or stuff like that it's just a simple simple back uh, design but it's nice so also the logo here in the middle look very nice nice lines expensive it looks expensive you look at the car and you know it is an expensive car it's a luxury car to be honest um, it looks good i like it i like the exterior shape of the car um, in comparison with model 3 i don't know maybe some elements i really like more on this uh, polestar 2 anyway yeah let's go forward guys open the door and let's see the front i know you're curious to see that let me show you the front guys open this up it's around i think it's here somewhere yes and we have an automatic lift gate in the front pretty huge lift gate bigger than model 3 and here we have a storage space and also this storage space it looks a little bit smaller than in the model 3 but it has also this extra part right here so it's quite interesting Tesla model 3 have only this one here and it's a little bit deeper and this one is not so deep but you have this extra space there so yeah probably they are very similar in terms of space here in the front you have the cable 11 kilowatt hour cable and also the cable that you can charge the car at home those cables come with the car and other than that on this part here is the same as model 3 no insulation stuff like that so i think it doesn't matter too much and also there is the wiper liquid and stuff like that anyway let's go in the back in the trunk here you have a button on the key guys and if you hold it a few seconds you can open the trunk automatic something that tesla model 3 doesn't have before but these days on the new refresh uh, 2021 model it has this as well here you have the buttons to, to close or block the the trunk if you want to lock it uh, also it comes with this protection right here that you can take it out i will take it out and i will show you uh, how it looks without it this is the entrance it's a little bit longer you can see like that because of the shape of the car it's longer it's a it's a hatchback actually and it's much more practical than my model 3 so i really wish my car have this so from this point of view one point for polestar so i i guess uh, polestar win this one with the trunk because of the the entrance it's a huge entrance you can fit uh, many items here without any problem so uh, that's an extra uh, the aerodynamic it takes tesla but we will speak about that in the end we will make a conclusion and we will talk about that at the entrance you have some plastic at the entrance here uh, kind of a 10 centimeter deepness 12 volt port here hooks led lights uh, hooks there hooks here uh, here led lights some storage space on the right side uh, going up under here wow you have a big space also here where you can put different stuff under this floor so this is one it's also pretty pretty good so in terms of space i should say i think the trunk win uh, by pulsar let me take this out and then we will continue right i just take out that protection so you can see a little bit better the way it looks now but i tell you guys it's it's a really really great space plenty of space here um huge in terms of practicality um i love this one i love this this polestar and also you can fold down this middle part right here guys just like that just like that and then push this away push this forward let me show you just like that and then you have to hide this one somewhere up there so you can see you can carry even long items without any problem here so that's that's a good thing um and to be honest if you want to see that you have to put it like that and you can see it a little bit better so you can see you can carry skis or long items without any problem um, just by folding this like that let me put it back and let me show you we will fold down also all the seats just like that folding down the seats it's super simple also um, you have to fold it 60 40 of course it's quite a long long space until there I have to stretch out a lot also here keep in mind you have a speaker here on the left side so that's really interesting folding down the seats it's super simple all you have to do is just press this one and then push it forward and then you have a flat floor this is completely flat and to be honest guys 
I like this space much better than Model 3. So on terms of space, interior space, uh, practicality, uh, this is the word. I think Polestar 2 win for sure. 100%. You have a flat floor, you have a hatchback entrance, uh, you have much, much more space here um, in the interior. So, yeah, the practicality for sure it wins uh, Polestar 2. 100%. Even if I go on the side here, let me show you a little bit better. The entrance here is quite big and you can make a better idea the way it looks. So, you can see. Uh, the space, it's everything flat, good quality even here behind the seats, very good quality. On the legs room you have plenty of space. The transmission tunnel is kind of big. Uh, I don't know why, maybe it's the battery part of the, the electronics are there. But overall, pretty pretty useful space. Uh, practicality, Polestar win. Let's go inside, let me put everything back and we will go forward. As before we go inside, we talk a little bit about the door. Here we have a window from one piece. Uh, the, the thing that I like much more on this Polestar 2 is that, you know, Tesla has these frameless windows where you have only the window here and Polestar come with this normal, uh, normal car look, classic car look with a lot of rubber here and here over the window and that make it, you can see a lot of rubber on the upper side, that make from Polestar a better, better um, sound insulation inside the car. So not only the sound insulation but even in the winter you can open the door much easier. Sometimes my window, it stick to this rubber here in the winter time, it's, it's just frozen there uh, and it's uncomfortable to be honest, uh, but uh, they win in noise reduction, they win in the winter, they win because it, you are much protected, but you lose in terms of aerodynamic. So that's why Tesla Model 3 has a better range, better aerodynamic and yeah, a better maybe 0 to 100. Anyway, the window is quite big, we will see the visibility in the interior. Here on the upper side of the door you have soft material it's soft everywhere in this car you will find almost only soft material and good quality so you have soft material on the upper side you have a small speaker you have even this handle pretty nice in chrome it looks really good you have leather like a skin tone leather but it looks really beautiful i like the stitches i like the quality then you have the buttons here in glossy plastic for the windows you have the lock you can even lock the car and then you have here also some kind of stuff nice material combination a storage space small one and then another speaker so you have two speakers on the doors right here in the back going inside guys it start the fun part look at the glass roof pretty beautiful in comparison with model 3 where you have all over the roof the glass roof here you have it also kind of all of the roof but because it's a hatchback they cannot continue in the window and it has to stop somewhere here it still look beautiful i think it's more than enough to be like that and yeah i like it i like the way it is to be honest i don't know which one win with this glass roof i will i will say it's a square uh, because both of them look beautiful um, then going inside on the seats look at those seats look how nice they look look at the stitches they are they are super super beautiful guys i will zoom in a little bit on the other side so you can make a better idea those seats on the polestar 2 are crazy crazy beautiful i like them much more than on my tesla model 3 you have those um, isofix here for child seats you can install it you have this uh, side support you have these little holes the quality um, the, the softness the size of the seats and also the design of the seats in my opinion they are much much more beautiful than on the model 3 and even here you have this armrest two cup holders when the quality it's there the quality and also the comfort i sit on them they are phenomenal guys going here behind the front seats you have some kind of plastic some storage space here uh, in the middle you have two vans 
quite nice. The Volvo style vents, good quality when you touch them. Then you have a 12 volt port. You have even in the back heated seats. Tesla Model 3 has as well. Big transmission tunnel in the middle where on the Tesla Model 3 you don't have a transmission tunnel. So this one it's win by Tesla Model 3 because you have much more space there uh, for the person in the middle. But in terms of seats, Polestar win. Uh, the floor, I think Tesla win. Let me go inside. All right. So you can hear, as I said before, the sound insulation here in the Polestar. It's very, very good. Much better than in, in Tesla Model 3. So that's something that, again, Polestar win. Good quality on the roof. It's a nice black roof, but good quality. You have handle, you have hooks. You have an LED here on the side. Quite nice design. Um, also the space. I know you're curious about the space. This is the space here. You have quite okay space. It's very similar uh, with the Model 3. You cannot stretch the legs under the front seat. Just a little bit like that. The position is okay. Also here you have kind of a two fingers up. Three, two, three fingers. Uh, on my head it's also three fingers up here. So in terms of space. They are very similar. Model 3 and Polestar, they are, they are quite similar in terms of space. Um, the comfort is good. The seats are really, really good in the back here. I can't say they are perfect, but they are good. I mean, you have a good position. Also, the visibility is it's quite, quite good. So, I like it. I don't know. I, don't, I think here in the back, maybe a little bit better on the Model 3. Maybe. Going in the middle. Wow. Um, here you have three fingers on the head. Stretch my hand almost. Stretch my hand almost. I think three people here will be not so comfortable. Maybe a child in the middle and on the right and left side will be better. Uh, but two person in the back will be much more comfortable. Uh, if you look from outside to the car, you will think that you have much more space here in the back. But being here inside, I noticed that because the battery is down, uh, they lift a little bit the seats and the position and and that why you you find out that the space is not so big as you think it is when you see the car from the exterior so um yeah i should say it's okay for two people it's okay uh but because of this space here guys you can see because of this space it make it much less comfortable so i should say that the space in the back model 3 wins um, I should say that. Anyway, going forward, we will go in the front there. Uh, we will talk about uh, the multimedia system, the steering wheel, the dashboard, the space in the front and the other things right there in the front. Also, I like very, very much this glass roof. It's just phenomenal. I mean, it's super, super beautiful. Anyway, let's go in the front, guys. Front here also a big window from one pieces, so the visibility in the mirror it's it's quite good, very good. Also, if you are interested in the visibility from the interior, check out the test drive. There I give you more information. Uh, I have it already on my channel, so check it out. Soft material on the upper side, it's quite quite nice. Handle the same as in the back, the same fabric material here, the same beautiful leather. Uh, then you have the buttons for different functions, uh, electric windows lock and unlock, adjust the electric mirrors and all that uh, function there. Uh, plenty of storage space here for your things. Uh, and then you have also the, the buttons for electric uh, seats so you can save the position from here without uh, any problem. Now, let's go inside guys. Car, it's quite big, so you have a big entrance here. Then at the beginning you have some kind of uh, pole star with a little bit of aluminium here. It looks quite nice, quite fancy. The pedals are normal, you don't have aluminium pedals, something like that. Uh, but then going forward you have electric adjustable seats, even the lumbar part. And check this out guys, look at those seats, they look beautiful. I love the seats, to be honest, I just like them very very much i wish i had those seats on my uh, tesla model 3 to be honest they look really good really good the quality is great you have side support you have this nice feeling when you touch them they are soft enough here so you don't have a back pain uh, and even down here they, they are perfect like this the way they are they are perfect also you can adjust this front part they are wider than tesla model 3 they are longer 
than Tesla Model 3 and even here on the back they are quite wider and bigger so you have a better comfort even the headrest you can adjust it the way you want it and it's, it's in the perfect position the way it is you can see right there if I zoom in a little bit you can see them one more time they, they are crazy so I have to give a point to Polestar 2 because I really like those seats they are super comfy I drive the car and I love them they are they are amazing look at the seat belt it's different it's something special also this is this element make the car much more fancy much more premium even in the back there the seat belts are the same uh, the glass roof look beautiful it's perfectly positioned there and I like it I like I like the way the interior look I think uh, Polestar did a really good job with with those seats with the center console with everything the way they array also the dash look look super nice you have also some storage space here on the side where you can put your your different stuff but here close to the steering wheel you have the brightness of the screen and you have the button to open the trunk even from here from the interior going up a little bit you have soft material all over the dash so here begins soft material you have this wood insertion trim uh, if i'm not wrong this is the london trim inside the car and it looks beautiful also the vents feel good very good quality i like them the way they are glossy plastic beautiful insertion there let's go inside close the door oh my god when you sit on those seats you will understand what i mean they are incredible the quality it's super nice they are wide they are nice i drive this car i don't have any back pain in comparison with my model 3 where if i drive many kilometers i have back pain so i hate the seats uh, from model 3 but this one in polestar they are three four uh step for the um, the one in Model 3, so I love the seats, totally win with the seats. Now visibility around the windows, it's perfect also in the mirror, you can see the mirror, the nice tiny hedges mirror look beautiful. Also around here, very good visibility. In terms of visibility, no problem guys. You can see one more time the seats right there in the back, the way they look so nice. So beautiful those seats. Here you have this armrest also in the same color same good quality you can adjust it the way you want it you can open it up you have a cup holder some storage space there another cup holder here um, going forward here you have this center console and you have this gear shifter perfectly positioned it just like that it's super super easy to change the gears it's nice it's it's beautiful it has that logo there in the middle um, and the parking button it's it's super fancy i like this center console look premium look nice also look at this you have kind of a nice feedback when you touch those uh, those those buttons here. Also, you have the controller here. You have the frosting and uh, the the climatic system. You just press those buttons. You don't have to go in the climatic system and press a lot of things. You just do it like that and ready. That that's super nice. Now here you have a space where you can charge your phone wireless. That's nice. And also you have two USB C ports down here, so you can connect your phone. You can charge your phone very nice very useful to be honest really useful under the screen there now before we go to the screen let me show you down here uh, the glow box it's quite big big enough to put your stuff right there uh, you have plenty plenty of space in the glow box there uh, then I like very much this wood trim on the dash look beautiful the way they combine the, the dashboard the wood trim soft everywhere even here this fabric material you have this vents up here you have Harman Kardon speakers um, and everything it's just flat and nice so it will give you a best a uh, very good visibility also electric adjustable seats you can adjust it the way you want it the visibility from the driver point of view on the cockpit and on the multimedia system is just perfect I love the way it is it looks really really good from this point of view it's just perfect and i like the way they they combine everything here i mean from the driver point of view you can control everything very easy you have a huge screen here i should say it's really big uh 12 inch display or something like that and also really responsive i will show you later but let me finish with the steering wheel uh the steering wheel also leather great grip amazing quality you can see the stitches um, the steering wheel look nice it's the perfect size it's big enough here so you can see perfectly right there 
uh, on the digital uh, display. Then you have controllers for the cruise control right here, nice glossy controllers, uh, the Polestar logo and then here on the side you have also the controller for the uh, sound and music and also you have this button here uh, where you can change the different function on the screen right there. So you, let me show you if I go like that in drive. Right now you go in drive, you can see already there, it tells you that you don't have the seat belts on and you can see right there the Google map. By the way, this Polestar 2 uh, use the Google map as a satellite, the same as Tesla, to be honest. And that's awesome. That means you have the best navigation system in the car and you can also customize it and choose how you like to see the screen right there. So. It's interesting, the colors are nice, the resolution is gorgeous. So, of course, I should say one of the best on the market. It looks really good, the screen there. So you have a perfect visibility and all the information. You have it really, really clear right there uh, on the head-up display. And the fact that it used that Google map and you have all that updated map, it's just insanely nice. Good. The steering wheel, you already see it. It's, it's good quality, it's easy to control, it's just perfect. Now, let's go to the upper part of the car. The mirror up here, it's also beautiful. It has the same nice tiny edges as on the uh, Tesla Model 3. So, uh, it's very, very similar in terms of visibility in the back, also very similar. Up here, you have a nice space, kind of a touch. You can see those are touch buttons and you can light up with LEDs, so it's quite nice. Then you have uh, uh, another one here for both of them. And not only for both of them, but you open all the lights, not only the smaller one. SOS button, connect button, microphone up there on the roof. You have here the, the mirror uh, with a nice LED light, sun protection. You have even the Polestar logo there. You have it projected right there on the, on the glass, so it looks quite nice. And overall, here you have also a microphone, a handle, the quality on the roof is very good. And going forward uh, to, the, to the best part, one of the best part on the car is this screen. You have a tablet. Actually, I tell it screen, but actually this is a tablet and uh, it's connected to the internet, of course, but it uses its Android, kind of Android Auto uh, tablet, Android tablet. And you have down here, you have the climatic system. You go in, in all the, the settings of the climatic system, you can press the buttons here, you can, you can use it uh, the way you want it as a normal car, but you have to use the, the touch buttons. I know many people complain about that, but you get used. And in this Polestar, it's very use, easy to, to adjust and to change different function, and it's very responsive. The fact that this screen is very responsive, make it much more easier to use. If it's not responsive yet, it's, it's annoying to have a screen and you have to press all the time the button. But when it's responsive, you can, you can uh, use it really fast. Heated seat in the front, of course, and you have heated steering wheel, of course. Uh, let me go back. Here you can change the temperature. Uh, here you can put it on auto to choice where it should go the air going to parking here You can set the parking schedule the preheating you can start the preheating pre pre-cooling the interior of the car so that's really good uh, you can schedule if you go to setting here heat seating for the passenger heat seating for the for the steering wheel here and then you have air quality sensors um, it has this sensor the same as many other company use these days uh, then you have the defroster, air circulation and stuff like that. Settings on the climatic system are down here, so you can leave it down just like that. This is kind of, if you press here, this is kind of the home, uh, home screen where you have all the application. Google, you have the driver performance, you have the radio, you have to connect your phone, you can connect your phone of course. Um, then you have up here the cameras guys that you see it before, 360 degrees camera here so you can see what is happening around the car and how you can park the car put it like that in reverse you can see the camera look pretty fancy and not only the camera but if you look at the mirror they will tilt down and up and you can see also here if you go in reverse you can see that the mirror it, it's tilting down so that that's super super cool um, and check this out the way it looks, the camera, it's really interesting. It's a great, great resolution. It looks really, really good in terms of resolution. And it's in real time, even those lines are helping you 
guiding you uh, on on the track on the perfect position so it's really really easy to drive and uh, to park the car so uh, this kind of system I really really like the way it looks and also you can see that the car come with these 360 degrees cameras so even if you go forward guys you can see that the car can map up what it's on the ground so you can park it forward and backward and you can see also the cars right there in the front it's, it's a really interesting system and if we go a little bit closer you can see individual the camera on the right side you can see it on the behind you can see it on the on the front for example so it's it's quite a great system this 360 degrees uh, camera it's one of my uh, favorite to be honest i like the graphics i like the way it looks it's just it's just insanely insanely nice so look how easy I can park the car here. All right, pretty cool. Okay, going forward, we go here uh, to the car. And here we have the steering wheel feeling, how you like to have it. Light, it's for the city. Uh, standard, it's between and firm, it's for sporty driving. Also, you have the traction control. You can turn it off from there if you wanna have some fun with the car. And down here, you have one pedal drive. You can drive one pedal, low and standard. How you want the regenerate brake to be low or standard. Standard, it's a little bit stronger. Uh, creep mode, it's like, you know, the automatic cars. When you take the foot out of the acceleration, the car will drive forward, but if you, if you put it off, then uh, when you take the foot out of the acceleration, the car will stop. It will go to a brake. So when you take it off, it will stay there. It will not creep forward. It will not run forward. Uh, the same thing has Tesla as well. Go to assistance systems here. You have the driver support, lane assist, road sign information so it can read the traffic sp uh, speed limit and signs, uh, blind spot technology, collision avoidance. So you have even here in the pole star to uh, a lot of technology uh, that come with the car i test also if you want to see how it works the the lane assist and the cruise control and all that uh settings check out my test drive guys i have another video with test drive there i test it also uh the difference between uh this pole star 2 and model 3 then here you have the charging you can also set the charging limit to 90 percent you can see how much uh, battery it has still in in the car Right now it's 88%. Um, and then you can choose different options how you can like to charge it. You have the more here, car status. Uh, you can see the car status if it has some errors or stuff like that. Service and information about that. Let me go back. Service, you can see when you have to make the service. Going back, you have the lock here. Choice how you like to lock. Reduce guard, speed locking and doors. How you like to lock uh, the doors. Then you have the interior light. Uh, here you can choose how you like the light, the ambient light and stuff like that. The exterior light here, also all the option about the exterior light. Mirrors and wipers, the same story. Uh, and mirrors if you want to fold it uh, on and fold it. Auto tilt, you can choose when you go in the reverse as you see before. And yeah, those are the settings. If you go forward to the application here, you have all the apps that you can, you can install even more apps like on a tablet. It's, it's quite awesome, like a Waze or whatever application. Uh, I'm not sure if all they work old, but you can still have here the application that you have it on the Android. Uh, and M here, this is your user uh, page. I'm not going to go in detail, but here when you go to application, you have the settings down here, guys. And on the settings, you have the internet, Bluetooth, sound system. You can change different uh, things on the sound right here. I have another full review with this multimedia system. I don't want to go too much into details with those things. Display, assistant system, privates, you have the Google and you have the settings down here where you can change the language of the, of the screen, the units, software updates and stuff like that. And you can change all those settings from here. Here on the apps, you can see, you can go to Google Play and here you can sign in and install different apps for your car. Now let's go back to the apps. Let's go back here to the driver performance. You have here driver performance application where you can see the different information about the driving, consumption, uh, trip distance and stuff like that. So you have it here in the driver performance. Also you have the settings where you can reset the trip and stuff like that. Let me go back. And you have the Google Assistant. You can speak, you can ask wherever you want. How many 
the degrees are outside, who is Michael Jackson, what kind of question you can ask the Google Assistant and they will, it will really, really answer to you. It's an amazing, amazing system. But going, going to the Google map right now, the car used the Google map. This is the best maps on the world, guys. So no other navigation system better than Google map. That's for sure. And in every car you will see Google map, you will have to know if it's connected to the internet, you have the best navigation and it's amazing. It's work super nice. It's very responsive, like a proper, proper tablet. If you see, I zoom in and you can see super responsive. Also, of course, Tesla Model 3, it's as well, very responsive, but you have to keep in mind that uh, this Polestar do a good job with this uh, multimedia system. Also, if you press destination right here, I'm not sure if it's working right now. Navigate to Paris. Navigating to Paris. And you can see it's just navigating to Paris. You don't have to press any buttons there. You put the address, it go home and then you, you press start and it's working. It's show you all kind of uh, trips information. You have everything, everything, all the information. You have it right there on the screen. So it's, it's insanely nice. And also you have it right there on the cockpit and you have the traffic information. You have all the infos that you have in your normal uh, map and the screen, it's insanely huge. You have an amazing visibility. In terms of visibility, I would give it a 10. To be honest, I like very much this system. So what can I say, guys? I think I show you everything here. The application you already see all. Um, also the settings. So I think that was the system. Also up here you have a few information. You can see the car even make the updates on the map right now. The same as on your Android Auto right now in this second. Uh, the map, uh, offline map are updating. Also it say that it has an update right now. I will not going to do it uh, because yeah, it's not my car. Now I think I'm almost done with the car guys. Also by the way, the car doesn't have a start engine button or stuff like that you just press the brake put it in drive and check this out the car is ready to drive so it's the same as on the tesla it's it's insanely nice going in reverse and we can go in reverse just a little bit um press the brake all right great guys uh that was the review with the Polestar 2. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find some useful information in this video. Uh, also, if you want to see the test drive, if you want to see more information about how is the drive acceleration, stuff like that, I have already the video on my channel, so check it out on my channel. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to see all the information about uh, the newest car, if you want to see the newest video on the, on the market, just click the subscribe button and you will have it um, right there on my channel, right there. Every time a video come out, you will see it immediately. Uh, I hope it was helpful. As I said before, uh, thank you very much for watching my video. Please like it and share it if you find it helpful. Uh, I will make a conclusion now in the end. Uh, and I want to compare the, the Model 3 and Polestar 2 because I own the Model 3 so I can make a better comparison. I own it for one year and a half so I can make uh, I can even tell you my opinion and I have to say, point one, Tesla Model 3 has a better aerodynamic, better range and uh, better acceleration, uh, overall better performance. Uh, the space in the back for the passenger, it's a little bit better, a little bit better on the Model 3 because of the floor. What is better on Model 3, you have the supercharging station, that's a plus for Model 3. Also, you have charging speed, it's similar, it's the same. Yeah, I think those are all what you have in Mo on Model 3. Now, let's see what Polestar have extra. The quality materials, I will give you to Polestar. The quality of the exterior of the car, the body of the car, I will give it to Polestar. The brakes, the, the rims, and the LED lights, I will give it to Polestar. The quality of those seats, guys, I will give it to Polestar. Much better quality, much better comfort. The roof and this nice feeling, premium feeling, I will give it, it's a square because it looks very similar. The visibility from here, I have to, to tell you something. The visibility around the windows, it's much better on Tesla Model 3, but 
in this one you feel much more sportier and the fact that you have this digital cockpit it make it much interesting and also you have a great visibility even here so i will give it to polestar in terms of visibility in the multimedia system and, and the speed because it's much more easier to see forward than here always on the side but in terms of driving only driving only looking on the windows i think tesla is better not i think it's better in terms of visibility and the space the the trunk space polestar 2 win definitely win i mean you have this hatchback entrance uh in the, in the trunk so it's it's amazing space you, you can carry many items so uh if you need that space there in the back it's no wondering uh that this polestar is better overall guys i don't think you will go wrong with which of this car if you buy a polestar 2 you never go wrong if you buy a model 3 you never go wrong i think the both of them have the good and bad stuff uh, you have to think what is more important for you as a person and what do you like what do you want from a car and then you can make uh, you can make a choice anyway if you have question just ask me down below i will answer to you to all your question also uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching if you like the music you have the link in the description uh, stay safe guys and see you soon in the next one bye